If you like using both Node-RED and Home Assistant, then this video might be for you, because today I'm going to show you how you can control some elements of Node-RED from Home Assistant. So let's dive in. Okay, so we're now at the computer, and the first thing we want to do is go to Hacks. So you're going to need to have Hacks installed to do this. And then you want to search for Node-RED, and then we're going to use this integration called Node-RED Companion. If we go into here, you will note that there's some minimum requirements. So we need to be on 2024.5 of Home Assistant. We also need to check this version of the palette within Node-RED. So let's go and do that first. So if we go up to the hamburger menu here and then go to manage palette, you should see a list of all of the palettes that we've got installed. We can see here that we've got version 0.62.3 installed and it needs 0.57. So we're okay on that front. So now we just need to press download to install it. Download again. And now that's done, we need to restart Home Assistant. So let's go to settings. Okay, so now we've got no Dread Companion integration installed and we've restarted Home Assistant. So what we want to do now is go to settings, integrations, and then we actually want to search for no Dread. And you can see here, it's got the no Dread Companion. So submit, and there we go. So now we want to go back into Node-RED. So in Node-RED, we're going to create a simple flow. So I'm going to drag a state entity change. And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see we've got expose as here, which allows us to expose this node to Home Assistant as an entity. So I've got a Zigbee motion sensor attached to Home Assistant. So I'm just going to search for that entity in here. And we see the Akara P1 motion sensor. So let's do motion. And then let's first grab a debug node and make sure that's working okay. Deploy that. And here we go, you can see. So I've just touched this motion sensor and it's sending on and off states. So the next thing we're going to do is actually make this flow useful. So we're going to say when motion is detected, it's going to turn on this switch that I've got here which is also Zigbee based. So let's do that now. So we want call service. Let's drag that to there. So switch, and we're going to toggle the switch every time motion's detected, put in the entity name. So now let's see if this works. We've got the switch here, and it's got a light on top you can see. And if I put my hand in front of the motion sensor, you can see that it turns on. And then when motion is not detected, it turns off again. So what we want to do now is we want to go into this motion event and under here, we want to click the pencil icon and then we can actually create a new type of entity in Home Assistant. You can see here that you can actually select what type of entity you want it to be. So you've got quite a bit of choice whether you want it to be a binary sensor, a button, etc. So I think in this instance, we're going to have it as a switch so that we can enable or disable this Node-RED automation from Home Assistant. So now let's press add and then done. And now we're going to deploy that. Now let's go to Home Assistant and see if that entity exists. Let's go to developer tools, states. We do switch dot, then we can see all our switches in Home Assistant. And we can see here, we've got a switch.motion underscore plug underscore on. So what we can do is hopefully, is if we turn this off, then it should stop the automation from working. So first let's do a test again and prove that it is actually working. So we can see we've got here the switch. And if I put my hand in front, you can see it turns on. Now let's toggle the switch in Home Assistant and it should disable that node in Node-RED. Okay, so I've done that. Now, if I pick this up, you can see that nothing's happening. So now if we look in Node-RED, you can see that this node shows us disabled. So Home Assistant has disabled this node. So what we could do is, is we could actually expose this switch in Home Assistant on our dashboard, and then we could disable Node-RED automations from our dashboard, or even with automations in Home Assistant. 
Let me know what uses you find for this integration between Node-RED and Home Assistant. If you look here, you can see that I use it for quite a few things. So some of these toggles are to enable and disable Home Assistant automations, but some of the others actually disable some complicated Node-RED flows. So that, for example, if I don't want the TV to pause when I leave the room, then I can disable this Node-RED flow. Well, hopefully you've learned a nice little way of how you can turn your Node-RED automations on and off from Home Assistant without having to go into the Node-RED UI on your PC. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and thanks until next time.